Hey everybody, I just launched my brand new course called How to Start and Grow Your Online Hair Extension Business. Check out the link below to get started. Hey ladies, this is Brianna from HowToBlackHair.com. In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to achieve box braids for beginners. This channel is almost at 100,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so that you can watch more beginner-friendly hair tutorials. I can't wait to show you how easy this is, so let's get started. You actually don't need a lot of products to achieve this look. You need about six to eight packages of braiding hair. You need a rat tail comb, a wide tooth comb, curlers for your hair, you need hair cutting scissors, as well as edge control. So now I'm gonna show you on our first package of braiding hair by removing this rubber band, how to actually prepare for your braids. The ends are very straight across and what you want to do is break up the bluntness. So you want to do what's called the feathering technique to do this process. You're just gonna pull on the ends of the hair, you're gonna roll the end in one hand and then use your other hand to rake through any little bit of knots that you may have created as you are doing the feathering process. So that way the ends are tapered. Now you're gonna cut the hair at a downward angle to clean up the ends. And you want to check just to be sure that you feathered it. You wanna make sure that all your braids come to a point. So that's why this feathering technique is so important to prevent your braids from unraveling. Now I have a small section of hair left and I'm going to show you two ways to do your box braids. So be sure to pay attention to both techniques because this is very important. Now divide your hair into two sections. Each section will be a braid. Now I'm just turning each section in all directions so you can get an idea for how big your parts need to be. Now taking one section, you're gonna divide this section into three equal pieces. This is the first way that I'm gonna show you how to box braid. What you want to do is then overlap one piece over the other. So I always overlap the middle piece to the left and then the new middle piece to the right so that it creates a three-legged braid. You have to make sure to rotate each middle piece back and forth around itself so that way you have a neat braid right before you begin box braiding your hair. So you want to braid your real hair first in an individual braid. I highly suggest this technique for beginners because it makes it a lot easier for you to actually attach your braiding hair. And it's very easy to prevent your ends from sticking out as well when you twist them. So now this is how your braid should look right before you begin adding your braiding hair. To add your braiding hair, you want to pinch off a medium to large size of hair. And then you want to go ahead and put that hair in your lap so that you can begin preparing to add it. Now with the remaining hair in your hand, you're just gonna tie it in one big knot. This is important to preventing your hair from getting very tangly and knotted because it's easy for this hair to get extremely tangled because of the nature of it. It's slightly kinky. Now divide your section into two pieces. One piece has to be smaller than the other. So you're pinching off a third of its original size for the smaller leg. Now with that smaller leg that you see in my right hand, I'm gonna wrap it around this bigger leg and that's gonna create for me three equal legs to my braid. So that way this third size piece actually turned into an equal part. And these are the three legs that you see here. Now grabbing that small piece that you wrapped around, you're gonna use the three main fingers of your dominant hand. For me, that's my right hand. You're gonna pinch the hair very close to where it joins and then you're gonna make sure the other hair is resting in your hand. Rotate your dominant hand underneath, open your index and your thumb to pinch that leg. That middle leg is gonna feed with your real hair. So you're gonna make sure you're opening and closing your pincher and thumb to add the hair. Now, with this individual that we just braided, we're gonna go ahead and add it in between our index and our thumb. So make sure you're paying attention because this is very, very easy and simple. Now you're gonna put that loose leg to one side and you're gonna rotate your hand slightly to the right for your dominant hand if your dominant hand is your right hand. And then you're gonna continue to rotate the other hand as well so that you can feed the hair into itself. So if you can master actually doing an individual braid without using weave, then you can easily add braiding hair to your hair without you having any issues at all. So if you've never box braided before, I highly suggest that you actually practice this as you see me doing it so you can really get it exactly how you need to do a box braid. So now I'm just gonna rotate my hands in front of me so that it's a little easier for me to continue braiding all the way down. 
Now, because you braided your real hair into an individual braid, it makes the gripping process extremely easy. When you're at the roots of your hair, it's very easy for your braid to actually slide down too far on your real hair. And that's why for beginners, I suggest that you braid your real hair in an individual braid first. Now to make all legs equal to reach the bottom, just pinch off a little bit of hair from a neighboring braid so that you can continue braiding all the way down to the ends. Cut off the loose remaining ends with your scissors to clean up the braid so that the braid is very neat and seamless. As you can see, this is how seamless your braid should look, especially when you use hair that matches your natural hair color. So now I'm gonna show you one more example, and this time, you're gonna divide this section into two pieces, and you need the hairs to remain loose. Now I'm gonna show you with color braiding hair how to do this, so that way you can clearly see where your real hair should go. You're still gonna feed your hair in the same way you did the other braid, but this hair is loose, so there's no pre-braiding at first. You're just gonna continue to rotate one leg over the other by inserting your index finger to hook the outer leg. That's how you actually add hair to do your box braid. Now, you're gonna free your less dominant hand and you're gonna grab the remaining piece from this section into a separate leg and then continue braiding. This process for this way of doing box braids is extremely helpful for those of you who have very silky or smooth gray texture of hair. Because when you're braiding your hair, when your hair is very silky or smooth, you notice that sometimes it's very hard to prevent hair from sliding off. That's why I suggest that you divide your section into two parts, making sure that your hair is in two separate legs. Because one of the legs, as you see here, does not have any of your hair. This is extremely helpful for those who have a hard time gripping at their roots as well. Now you want to just make sure that you continue braiding. And if you notice that you have any of your real hair sticking out, just use a little bit of edge control to smooth your real hair into the braiding hair. Now cut off the remaining ends and make sure to trim off any splits that stick out from your braid. Make sure that you pay attention to where your real hair is so that you don't accidentally cut your hair. Now as you can see, this is how it will look when you're adding color to your braid. So if this helped you to see how to do it, be sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know. Now, as you can see, all of my braids are completely installed. And what I'm going to do is very quickly do a spin around so that you can see how your braids should look. Now, your braids may look a little different if you decide to use color. So you can use color or you can use black hair if you prefer. So now I'm gonna show you how to curl the ends of your braids. This adds an extra touch to your box braid. Now I'm using a roller and this is a half inch cold wave water roller. What you want to do is roll the ends of your braids first and then roll the braids onto the ends so that the ends do not unravel when you dip it in hot water. So now just slowly lower it into hot water, making sure it was previously boiling so that the water is very hot. This is going to help your curls to stay in the entire time you're wearing these braids. Now squeeze it dry with a dry towel to release all of the water and steam. Remove the plunger and slowly unravel it from your hair. Don't yank it because you may disturb the curls because the curls are warm. Use scissors to trim up any ends that stick out so that it's a lot more neat. After curling, this is how your box braids should look at the ends. Now this step is completely optional, but I love a little bit of curl at the ends, so that's why I like to use rollers to actually hot curl the ends of my hair. To achieve a similar look with the edges of your hair, all you have to do is use a rat tail comb and some edge control to actually smooth your hair exactly how you want it to look. So now that my edges are done, very quickly I'm going to show you how my braids look at the scalp. So that way you can have an idea of how you need to do with your box braids. This is about the size that you want your braids to be for that traditional box braid look. And I want to show you exactly how full the hair looks and how you want to actually part your hair. So as you can see with my technique the braids will not be too tight. You can actually wear your hair up in a ponytail the first day if you so desire. Thank you so much for watching my beginner friendly box braid tutorial. I love doing these videos for you all and I want to continue doing this. But to do so, I need your help. Subscribe and thumbs up this video to support this channel because we are almost at 100,000 subscribers. Comment down below what looks you want to see next. Thanks for watching everybody and catch you later. Hey everybody, I just launched my brand new course. 
called How to Start and Grow Your Online Hair Extension Business. Check out the link below to get started.